Hello everyone, I hope you're doing good. Last week, I made a video where we talked about the top 10 in-demand jobs of Canada in this year. But because this is 2021, not a regular year, we gotta talk about remote jobs. Jobs that can be done remotely working from home. To stop the spread of COVID-19, it is absolutely important that anyone who can work from home, who can manage their work remotely, should work from home. Now there's a lot of debate on the pros and the cons of working from home. I'm not going to get into that, but I'll tell you the top 10 in-demand jobs of Canada in this year that can be done remotely. Now in the last video, I did not share the salaries and many people requested that I should share the salaries. So in this video, I've completed my research with the salaries as well. So I'll be telling you the average salaries of each job as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, before we discuss the list of jobs, it is important to tell you the source of the information. The list of jobs has been shared by the details studied and by Randstad Canada, a Canadian human resource company. And of course, the average salary that I will be discussing in this video is the average salary as I told you. It depends on uh, you know the experience of a person, it depends on the skill set, uh, it depends on one province to the other province, but it's the average salary just to give you an idea. Okay, so without any further ado, let's start discussing this list of in-demand remote jobs. So number one is a customer service representative. The average salary is around 36 to 38,000 Canadian dollars per year. Now when this pandemic began, people from IT industry had this experience of working from home, working remotely, but the people from customer service, the customer service reps didn't had much of an experience. New data suggests that remote customer service teams are more productive. Representatives also report a higher level of job satisfaction, which ultimately means excellent customer service. New cloud contact center technology has enabled call centers to provide their representatives with an easy to use solution that requires no IT maintenance and can be accessed anywhere and at any time. Okay, the next one in the list is help desk and IT support and their average salary is around 45,000 Canadian dollars per year. Of course, when so many people are working remotely on computers, there got to be issues. And to fix those, we need help desk and IT support people. Today, more remote workers need support with cybersecurity issues using communication tools, accessing networks and downloading software. Today's businesses of all sizes need IT support and if you're looking to continue working remotely, there will be a lot of opportunities across the country. Yes, we'll talk about a couple of more IT jobs, but the next one in the list is the administrative assistant and their average salary is also around 45,000 Canadian dollars per year. And they are in this list because they can assist and do a lot of work remotely. As the majority of their work can be done online or through virtual means like coordinating meetings, memo taking, presentation creation, managing reports, orders, and handling confidential information. They are able to still support staff and steer business appropriately while working remotely. Okay, the next one in the list is the HR administrator and the average salary is something around 50,000 Canadian dollars per year. HR roles don't require physical on-site work as they coordinate and direct the administrative functions of an organization. They oversee interviewing and hiring of new staff, consult with executives on strategic planning and serve as a link between management and employees, which can all be done via phone, email or virtually. Okay, before we proceed any further, I want to give a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is a creative online learning platform. It is for all those creative people out there. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people offering thousands of inspiring classes on topics including design, photography, web development, marketing, animation, creative writing and the classes on so many other topics as well. Because I regularly upload videos on YouTube, I love video editing and I am sharpening my skills of video editing through the classes given by one of my favorite YouTubers Ali Abdul. 
So if you have that creative knack inside you, I would definitely recommend you going to Skillshare and checking out their classes. I'll provide a link in the description box below. The first thousand subscribers to click on that link will get a free trial to Skillshare premium membership. So you can try it for free and explore your creativity. Okay, we have talked about few jobs, but haven't talked about many jobs from IT. And of course, working remotely, it's most comfortable for the IT people. So next one in the list is an IT consultant and the average salary is around 78,000 Canadian dollars per year. IT consultants undertake strategic or operational assignments, but they also help companies develop, implement and roll out prototypes or software that targets specific needs. Whether they are helping to fix backend problems or customer facing issues, they analyze data and conduct interviews with key employees to develop strategic action plans to fix issues. The next job in the list is again from the IT industry and the salary package is also a little higher. They are the data analysts. The average salary of a data analyst per year is around 78,000 Canadian dollars. As more customers turn to e-commerce for everyday essentials, businesses are looking to explore data to identify trends that might help optimize marketing initiatives, sales performance of services or products, website efficiency and applications. Data analysts use a range of technical tools and work with a variety of departments from a number of industries and can very easily do their jobs remotely if they have the right reporting tools in place. Okay, now when we've talked about the couple of jobs from the IT industry, let's talk about the marketing jobs as well. So the next one in the list is the digital marketer and their average salary is around 50,000 Canadian dollars per year. Whether they're writing new blogs, editing videos, sending out tweets or Facebook posts, they can do all of these tasks without needing to be in the office. Many daily activities like email outreach, social media updates and online monitoring can all be done effectively by employees working remotely. Now when everyone is online, we are on Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, it's very important to have a social media manager as well. And that's why this job has become so important in 2021, especially because it can be managed working remotely. The average salary for the social media manager is around 45,000 Canadian dollars per year. With the right content plan in place and the right tools like cross-platform dashboards, social media publishing tools, social listening tools and online communication platforms, social media managers are positioned well for the remote work environment. Okay, not only the IT, marketing, HR, these all jobs can be done online. But the accounting jobs can also be done online, working remotely, working from home. So the next job that we're going to talk about is the accountant and their average salary is around 60,000 Canadian dollars per year. Today's accountant needs to be able to provide real-time accounting data to determine the profitability of all activities. This is because running the traditional month end income statement and balance sheet can often be too late to address issues in this unstable business climate. Fortunately, cloud technology, big data and robotic process automation has been successful in increasing organizational efficiency and has enabled finance experts to meet increasing demands while providing guidance that is based on analysis. Okay, coming over to the last job of this top 10, which is from the management field. It is the job of a project manager. The salary of the project manager is actually the highest among these top 10 that we have discussed and on an average they earn 92,000 Canadian dollars per year. There are a number of project management tools that can be used to provide external collaborators with the status of deliverables as well as communication tools that allow real-time collaboration of everyone involved in projects. With the right tools in place, project managers who work remotely can ensure good ROI for their clients while at the same time balancing team workloads. Okay, so thank you guys. That was the list of the best remote jobs, the top 10 in demand remote jobs that can be done working from home. If your jobs is one of these 10, I really hope that this information would help you gain a lot of confidence. 
to help you settle in Canada in the near future. So if you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any queries, please put it down in the comment section below. And yes, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.